Born April 28th. So 20. here's the first picture taken of you as a baby back uh, in 1922. Where was that? It looks like it's on the farm. Where is the farm? Uh, at, at Alvina. I, that's my mum and I. It, I look like I'm a couple years old. And that picture, I remember seeing that many times. I would say I'm maybe five. I still have that picture in that frame. And even my red hair shows there. And there's my mom. She always was wearing hats. And I know she would have made my, that little coat that I have on. She's, she was always, uh, always making clothes for me. Oh my, what grade is that in? I can't tell. Uh, oh, and Mr. Hernevich, he was a teacher that was always really good to me. Oh, good. I can see that I had a decent mark in some, some things. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, I had somebody just say yesterday, Gene, you write so good. Well, we used to do penmanship in those days. Oh, there's a few, few nice thing, few, few nice marks in there. It's grade I'll four. I'll to, you were top oh, of your class. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess that's one reason I, I know I did two years in in one. Uh, I think it was when I was in grade seven or eight. Uh, oh, from the first year to the second year of commercial. Oh my goodness. Second or third. Oh, I haven't seen that. I wouldn't have even known I had that. And, oh, I had a nice teacher, Mr. Lambert. He was a real, real nice fellow. Oh, there's Mom's signature on my report card. Well, I guess that was taken just as if I was in high school. Yeah, and I think that's in, in by the Besborough, that picture. And, oh, and that, that, uh, that's Gertie Bewey, I was her bridesmaid. And that picture, I don't know, this was taken downtown. Oh, this was taken on 3rd Avenue by the Glengarry Block. And that's the same picture that, uh, we've looked at before and this picture was taken when the king and queen came in 1939 just before the war started oh there's my friend Chrissy Rankin and uh, I've forgotten the other girl's name oh and this is when we lived in Tisdale for about six months and that was my friend Marge Young I kept in touch with her for oh 25 or 30 years well, we know that picture's taken in Saskatoon with the Besborough. And here I am, I'm already in the service. That would be about 1944. And my friend, um, Pat, that lived, came from Ra Rama. Oh dear, I used to go with that fellow. I can't even remember his name. Well, that was my fur coat that I paid, uh, I think, $5 a month on that coat. It was about $100, and I paid $5 a month to get, for, to get it on time. And there I am skiing. Les and I used to go skiing up by the university. Les used to go down the big ski jump. Well, that's again by uh, in the, by the water. I don't quite remember where that picture was. That should be downtown on Third Avenue. My mom and I. She always wore a hat. She always looked. She was always dressed like a million bucks. 
You never saw her any other way. And I remember that coat, I loved it. It was kind of a rust color. And I just thought it was beautiful. And I can't see who that is. I'm sorry to say someone could have been me, but it didn't turn out too good. I think, and I don't know where Les and I were that we would have taken that picture. Could have been at his house on Bedford Road. Yeah, I think that's the back of the house, as a matter of fact, on Bedford Road. Uh, oh, that's a friend of Walt Romano's, who I still hear from today, who lives in Edmonton, and he used to be the uh, CO at the CFQC when it opened, when the TV station opened. And that's at Les's house at 515 Bedford. And that's a girl I met in Moose Jaw uh, before the war at a YW uh, conference in Moose Jaw. And we kept in touch for many years. And there's Les, I guess that would be in Les's car. Oh, that's, uh, she's passed away now, but I had met her in Moose Jaw at that time before the war at the YW conference as well. Her name was Alice McQueen. And that is taken in Saskatoon in the park by 25th Street in the City Hospital. And there's my friend ID, uh, Irene Teedy. She and I rented an apartment in the Drinkle Block for $7 a month during the war years, a one room. And there's the, I believe that's the 25th Street Bridge. And I guess it would be on the Besborough grounds. Not sure who that is. Really can't tell. There's Gertie Bowie and her husband. They had got married. And there's Ted Gunn that I used to go out with. And that was taken way before the war. Uh, the Walters that had a caf small cafeteria on 20th Street East. These are the girls that worked at the Saskatoon Hardware with me. And this is the Sportsman Club. And uh, we used to meet together half a dozen times a year. And we'd have uh, wiener rolls and corn rolls. And we'd have a uh, New Year's party at each of other homes. And this is my friend Trudy Hegblum Cuthbert, who married when the war started and I still keep in touch with her today. And uh, there, oh, there's my picture that I had taken when I joined the service in 1944. And from Regina, I went straight to Kingston. And this is uh, when I got stationed back to Regina, uh, Kathy Mildenberger, uh, whose home was in Regina, uh, would come with me to stay on the weekend when I had leave. And the other girl is Pat, who I still keep in touch with today. She lives out at the coast. And I guess that is a picture of me when Les and I were uh, out duck hunting. But it somehow doesn't seem like me. That's my friend Trudy and uh, Charlie Cuthbert. Here's a picture of me with someone in the service that I can't remember her name. And there's Molly on the left. I can't remember her name. And the other girl, I remember her, forgotten her name. And uh, that's Kathy Mildenberger again. And there's some more of the girls that were in the service. The girl at the back uh, still is uh, living in Saskatoon today. And I saw her a few years ago. And she remembered me, of course, and I remembered her. And this is in Kingston. This is the Draper twins. They had come from 
Musha, I believe. We used to keep track of each other for quite a few years.